Hey guys, what's going on? Today's video, I'm going to be showing you most of the stuff in the classic mod pack. Um, so we're going to be starting off with this big tractor here. And um, I do believe there is one like this in 2013. Uh, these are the new tractors, just so you can get the price range. Just got slow enough for you. Um, I don't think I have the tipper here actually. No. So we're gonna get the tipper out for you. That's the tipper that was added in. Um, I can go back and buy it. This tractor is actually nice. It sounds pretty okay. Um, top speed looks to be 26. Um, no. That's where the headbutt comes in. Reversing. Without trying to knock over the harvester. Alright, there we go. So I'm gonna be two in one right now. <coughs> um, yeah, looks okay. I mean, completely honest, I wouldn't be driving it unless I was doing a Pacific game mode off it. But this, it's alright. It looks to be a bit high, this tractor. So we'll move on to the next one. Uh, this is it. Nice, kind of be okay maybe for the planting and that. It wouldn't be like anything I'd want to buy. If I needed a tractor, I wouldn't buy this one. Probably buy the one we just showcased. Squeaky brakes. All right, horn, same as usual. And we can move on to the next. Um, that tractor is okay. Now, this one here, a bit faster. Um, yeah, I can actually see some improvements. Still squeaky brakes. Um, we're not going to try to pull down with that and stuff with this, these tractors. Um, this tractor here is a bit small for, like, a bit small I think, just for farming. Like, in real life it would be a fine thing to have, but not really. So this tractor is actually a bit better than the other one, like the first one we had. It's a bit better than the second one, it's faster. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, this is... Okay, I suppose. Oh, this one has different squeaky brakes. Um, next one, it's nice. Um, has started up. Oh, wow, how's that actually old starting sound? Yeah. It's it doesn't look right, I think. The front, yeah, it's nice enough. Um, I think that would be one that I'd buy. Don't know why. How come? Now the linear. I think that's how you say it. I think this is 20,000 or something. Let's check. Oh no, it's only 15. Um, yeah, it's nice. I I know from experience that it is a good tractor to use for the uh, baling and that. Now I never used this one. It's based off the Dukes of the Dykes. Fair. Um. So I started. Looks to be pretty okay. It's running fine. Yeah, I'm just stopping up these in any random position. Yeah, it's nice. On to our final regular tractor, we have the Hurley Men. And this one is actually good enough. I've not used it, but I know from my friend he, who has that it is pretty good to be using. So now we'll be on to our next tractor, which is. A bit of a mixture it has 
a front loader, um, a bucket, and silage fork. So I'll show you these in action. Right, so now I'm back here with the tractor and the front loader and I have the shovel on first. One thing I've noticed is that when you empty, you press R1 and square it and it keeps swinging until you attach it again and then it just magically folds back up. So yeah, let's give it a go. I do believe this can't hold a lot. You can't actually move the shovel once it's in position. You can only go down to the floor and that is it. So let's have a go. Wow. It can only hold a little. Um, so one disadvantage I have about this tractor is it doesn't really haul stuff up so high. Like See, that's what happens. You don't get any money or anything. Well, there is stuff in it, but that's from earlier on. So yeah, that's one disadvantage about this tractor. So we'll detach that and leave it there, even though I'll probably forget about it and run over it the next day. I will use a fork now. I don't think this can hold more. I think it's the exact same. Uh, so, um, one thing, I did drive the truck over here, and it's pretty good, like, it's not the best. Alright, so the fork can hold more, not too much more, but the release the same way. And yeah, that's about all for the fork and that. So now let's go Bailing. Alright, so I'm gonna just bail, well, cut this bit out here first. And let's have a go. Cuts the exact same way as a regular mower. I'll just cut a little bit. Make sense that I don't run over this stuff probably isn't going to work so we'll pick it up and drive over this side and do a loop before we lower this back down right now go and we drive over to cut this bit mm, yeah more pretty good but same time it's pretty small that's one disadvantage so I have field 40 down there by the cows as my grass field and it's it takes a while by with like the big mower and oh no I forgot about that I have the big mower in this tractor so imagine doing it with this so now we're just gonna Where's the wind roll? Oh, there it is. It's up a bit further. Everything kind of fell off. So I just left it. We'll just unfold it. Pretty small wind roar. No, this is a wind roar. Uh, this is a tether. Pretty small tether. Um, again, I couldn't really see myself using it. Unless there's a small field. And by small, I mean... Field 12 size. Like, not even field. Every field you start off with. Not even 29. Oh no, 29. Yeah, that's smaller. Say. I thought that field 12 was the smallest. I think that's another map. Um. What the hell? And the tether, it's alright. Like, it got that bit of grass done fast. Um, the wind rower now next. Oh yeah, it slides a lot, so by the shop there, 
Um, my friend started off his very first farm simulator um, and it started to roll down that little bit of a slope. Almost went into the river. <laughs> it was very funny. Now, the wind rower, I have one complaint about it. Is that when you're in rowing, you have to go from the side that the metal is on the outside, I think. Uh, yeah, I think the metal has to be on the outside the whole time. So that's a bit annoying. Widen the camera angle a bit. So, you can go pretty fast with it, like, for what it is. Um, let me try to get a bit more. Yeah, this isn't gonna work, is it? No. Okay, so we're gonna have to do that row again. Um, yeah, so the wind row is not the best thing out of this pack. Like, it's just, it doesn't work really for me. Uh, I know this is only small, but I, this video is long enough as it, as it is. So now I'm going to go and get my the baler and the bale picker up here. So I'll be back to you as soon as I have them. Alright guys, now I've got the baler and we're getting ready to start baling. I already have it unfolded, do I? I guess so. Oh yeah, I have it unfolded but I don't have it lowered. Be smart enough to lower it, wouldn't it? Now it's lowered. And we're probably going to need a bit more grass than this to create the bales. I just realised. we we'll turn it off. Oh yeah, we turned it off instead of higher. Than, yeah, we're not going to be able to do it from that way. Hopefully we get to create one bale at least. That's your bale, guys. Uh, yeah, the bales, they aren't the best. That's why you need the automatic bale picker up here. Otherwise, it's impossible to pick them up. Well, not impossible. It is even it's doable, but it's a bit hard. Um, the baler, it's all right. It's nothing like... It's not something you'd want to be doing. I wouldn't really want to be using that the whole time. That's not lowered, is it? Oh no. Sorry. Right. And then the bale all depends on the amount of speed that's how far it goes back. So look at I have to go fast, 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 fast and it throws it back and if I was going slower it would just plop it down the ground. Now we're going to do the forge wagon and then it's going to be the end of the vid video. So I'll get back to you as soon as I have the forge wagon. Alright, so now I'm here with this loading wagon, forge wagon. And um, I like it. It's okay. Not the best like thing to have. But um, we'll give it a go. It goes fast enough. Um, we'll just drive around in here to see how much we can collect. And that's all I'm going to collect. Um, I'm going to show you guys how it empties too. Uh, I think my tractor's actually parked in there, is it? A tractor's parked in there. Look at all them windmills! Eh? Yeah, I have a lot. Okay, there we go. Back door just opens and everything flies out. 
the truck it's nice enough to have um let's look at the stats and then look at these stats it's a bit better mm, but a lot cheaper and it's a bit slower and yeah anyways thank you guys for watching hope you hopefully you found this video interesting helpful and you know which bits to buy now uh, i'll just give you the price range of the tractors once more anyways thank you guys for watching uh like if you want to see another mod pack on any game comment what game you want it to be and share so i can grow my channel a bit thank you guys for watching and peace out